U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin made clear at the start of this Tuesday meeting with the Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant that in Gaza right now, the casualties are far too high and the amount of aid getting in is far too low. Gaza is suffering a humanitarian catastrophe and the situation is getting even worse. The situation in Rafah is the main source of contention. The U.S. leaning heavily on Israel to come up with an alternative to its planned ground invasion there, where over a million Palestinians are sheltering, the only place left with some semblance of an infrastructure. We're working with Israel to ensure that an outrage like October 7 can never happen again. And the United States will not rest until all the hostages are home. Our goal is to make Israel and the region safer and more secure. And as I have consistently said, protecting Palestinian civilians from harm is both a moral necessity and a strategic imperative. Galat told Austin that Israel's two main goals remain unchanged. The destruction of Hamas organization and bringing back the Israeli hostages back home. These high-level meetings come despite Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu yanking a planned visit this week by an Israeli delegation to the White House. And with no breakthroughs in Washington and a United Nations ceasefire and hostage release demand that both Israel and Hamas have so far ignored, all eyes continue to be on Doha, where ceasefire negotiations have continued through nearly six months of fighting. And Israel said Tuesday it was pulling its negotiators from those talks, still angry over the United Nations resolution, calling hostage talks with Hamas at a dead end. Andy Roshan, TRT World.